Okay, so as you've already read from the review, uh, the latest version of Weebly's just come out. This is one of the first website editors that I used um, and started recommending. And I wanted to run through it with you because I just want to really show you how easy it is to use this kind of uh, site to create a website. And honestly, they've done a really good job with the makeover on Weebly. So. Um, I've got my, uh, I've logged in, it's a free account, and I've already logged in here, and I'm just going to click on Add Site. So what this does now is it brings up a huge selection of templates that I can choose from um, to have a, a set layout and colour scheme, um, all sorts of different ways that you can use them, picture-led, uh, text led. Uh, I tend to steer clear of white on black because that can be uh, not so easy to see, uh, especially if people are visually impaired. I like this one, I've already picked this one out. Um, and as you can see there, as soon as I uh, highlight it, then I can choose a color scheme as well. So I can even change the kind of details of the color scheme there before I go ahead and click on choose. So you just choose whichever website template works for your particular styling. So what I'm going to do, my katerussell.co.uk uh, is, is well in need of updating. So um, I'm going to do that. And I actually, you've got here three choices. Use a subdomain of weebly.com. So you put in whatever it is, .weebly.com. You can register a new domain and that will actually take you through a process to purchase uh, a new domain. It's probably not the cheapest way to do it, but when you're talking a couple of pounds, um, it is certainly the easiest way because it will all be integrated into your website construction. Um, I've already got a domain that I own, so I'm going to put in here that I'm going to be using a domain, katerussell.co.uk, that I've already purchased. And when I click on continue, what this does now is it gives me really clear instructions on how to do that. Uh, it's even formatted an email for you to send to your domain registrar if somebody else is managing it for you. In my case, um, I manage my own domain uh, pointers, so there it's given me the instructions on what I need to uh, change within the domain hosting template and, and where I need it to point to. So it's kind of advanced, right? So if you're not up for that level advanced, then just stick with the Weebly domain or you can buy a domain through Weebly and pay a little bit more and have it all integrated for you. So we're now onto the imaging, uh, to the website editing um, section. And what's so great about this is it's really intuitive drag and drop. You see you've got your elements on the left hand side here and this is the site that we're working on. At the moment we're in build mode. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to change this image because this image has got nothing to do with me. Hover my mouse over it, edit image, and it says add an image, click on that, do I want to upload it? And I can, I can choose images from the web as well. I've already selected some pictures that I might want to use on the site. I'm going to go for this here. This is the header image. So um, I'm going for something which is reasonably uh, kind of artistic um, and it's not you know, it's not supposed to be sort of like head and shoulders boring photograph, but you know, you can do whatever you want. If it's a, say, a website about your business, then you might put a picture of your shop or something up there in the header. So this header is now loading up and you can see it's obviously, it's a letterbox style. So it's now going to give me the option to adjust the position of my photograph within there. When I click on OK, now you'll see it's still grayed out. What I need to do is save that. And when I go to the top right hand corner and click save, a drop down says, do I want to save it to all pages, which means every page on your site will have that header, or do I just want to do, do it to this page only or select pages? So I'm going to say this page only because I want to have a different header on the different pages. So that's my header. I need to name my site now. Again, hovering my mouse over there, it says, do you want to edit that text? I do. So I'm going to do katerussell.co.uk. Um, and then down here now is a whole bunch of empty space and it says drag elements here. So what that means is you've got the elements on the left here. You just drag and drop them. So first of all, I'm going to split this into two columns because what I want to do is I want to put a video and some text in there. Um, now, if you were just doing a photograph, um, what you could do is just uh, photo and text. You can just use that one and that will automatically format being able to embed an image and some text. And we'll use that in a second. But I want to do a YouTube video and the YouTube video is down here. So now I've got two columns. I can now go over here, pick up the YouTube video, drag that element and drop it into that column. So that is now saying, what video do you want to put in there? Click on that and it brings up 
a box to fill in with the URL. So I've already decided on the video that I want, and it's this one. So I will, this is my show reel. It's very out of date, but um, it's got some cool stuff in it. Uh, so I will paste that in there. I'm gonna uh, left align it just cause uh, that's what I like. And then that is now in there um, as a block of video. So now on the right hand side here, I'm going to put in some text about me and an image. So again, I'll pick up the image and text option, drop it in there, that converts to a box that I can edit. Upload an image. Now here I do want a head and shoulders photograph, so I'm gonna go with that one, which is a nice one, uh, was taken when I did a makeover. So I'm looking very glamorous. Um, now I've got some text already formatted as well, just for the sake of um, speed. So I'm gonna copy that, this is my standard biography. Um, I've already formatted the text with links. You can see here there's a link in there, but just so that you know how simple it is, you could have just copied and pasted some text in there. And I've got down here, web user magazine hasn't yet got, that's my phone beeping, uh, hasn't yet got a link on it. So I go to web user magazine and it's always a good idea wherever you can to link to pieces of uh, additional information. Um, when you're, so you, know, so you don't have to go into too much detail in your site and people can always click through and find more if they want. So I'd highlighted that, I should probably just run through it a little bit slower. So I've highlighted Web User Magazine, okay? And now up here you see, this is the text editing box that allows me to do a number of things like make text bold, underline it, uh, change the size of the font. And here you see this little uh, link, it's like a chain image, you click on that and it says what's the URL that you wanted to go to. So you paste in there the URL. Um, always do open in a new window because that stops people navigating away from your website. Now, you could also put in there a link to a page on, you know, on this website. Um, so that's quite nice. And you can also uh, obviously have it link, the link open your email address, which is good for a contacts page. So click save and that is now linked in there in that text. So that's page one, set, ready to go. Uh, you know, it's a nice, uh, nice, oh, hang on, there are some uh, social accounts here. So again, this has got it all embedded ready for you. You've got Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my details of my various different social properties in there. So Facebook, we're going to pop in my Facebook, and then I'm going to go to LinkedIn. By the way, PRs watching this, don't bother contacting me on LinkedIn to try and connect with my business network uh, in order to uh, uh, get me to cover your um, <laughs> websites and apps. That's not how I use LinkedIn. I use LinkedIn genuinely for close business connections. The best way to contact me if you want me to review your websites is to post me a link on Twitter, uh, which is there. So, um, I genuinely, unless you've got really good reason for connecting with me on uh, LinkedIn, I, I won't. Um, and here, Kate at workingthecloud.com is how you can contact me on email. Now, okay, so that's some of the main ones, but I'm actually a really big uh, Google Plus user and some people use Flickr, Pinterest, there's RSS feed, Vimeo, YouTube. So I'm gonna add a Google Plus uh, button there as well. And I've got myself all ready here to copy and paste that in and pop that down there. Okay, so now I've got all of those elements already in there and when the site is live, people can click them to go to those various different areas. Um, oh, for some reason that didn't save that, katerussell.co.uk, katerussell.co.uk. Okay, oh, don't need that. Okay, so that's page one sorted and ready to go. So now what we want to do is we want to add another page. Um, and that will appear on the menu bar along the top here. Now the buttons up here at the top, uh, build, design, so this allows you to change the theme if you want and, and do some sort of like more specific editing to the, uh, to the design and layout. But then you can add pages here. So we're already at the home page and you can change the name of that link if you want to. I'm gonna leave it as it is because it's fine for me. Uh, I want to add a bit more about me now. So if people want to find out more about my work. Um, so I click on add a page. I can add a, a, a blog page, an external link or a standard page. I'm just gonna add a standard page. I'm gonna call the page uh, a, bit, a bit more about me. Um, page layout, you've got some choices there. 
um, in terms of the styling. So I'm just going to go with the tool header again and I'm going to save and edit. So this now brings me to this page, uh, which looked very similar to the other page when we first started. Edit image, I'm going to add an image. This is going to be about my TV work, this, uh, this uh, page now. So what I might do is put that picture of me on the sofa at daybreak um, and that will load up now and then I can position it so that it's nice for the header. I think that will do. Okay. And again, do you remember top, top, top right, save. Do I want to save to all pages? No, because that will change the first page as well. So save to this page only. And bang, there we are. So now I can add other things to it. So for example, my television work um, is, uh, I've got lots of photographs in that. So I'm gonna put column in as well. And I think what I'll do first is I will put in a, a slideshow of photographs of me doing um, my webscape uh, stuff for the BBC. So uh, can choose the styles of the slideshow that I want. So I'm gonna go for that one and click continue and now I can upload photos from my computer so again I've picked out some webscape photos which are here and bam 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 so open up all of those they get dragged into the system now I can switch the order around on these if I want to um, and um, put links against them and comments against them add captions whatever I want and um, once that's finished uploading, then I will have a slideshow in that page um, that people can sort of scan through and have, the, have a look at the various photos um, of me at my place of work. So really, I mean, that's it. You can go into as much detail as you want in terms of deciding how many layers you want. As you can see there, while that's loading up, there's things like, um, I'll click save now. Um, see, I've actually dropped that in the wrong place. I meant to drop that into the uh, into the sidebar here. Um, but I can just put that in the wrong place. I can just delete it and um, I can start again. So really, you can decide now how you want to lay your, um, your website out, um, including putting a map in, a contact form, uh, there's a search box, people can search the site, lots of different ways to put audio and video. So if you've got a band or whatever and you're, you're sort of trying to get people uh, involved in your work, you can do it that way. You can run polls, you can do contact forms um, and you can even, I mean, they've got commerce here. So you can even do um, advertising and uh, sell products um, through this website. And it really is just so easy um, to put together. And then the other beautiful thing that they've done here with this new, I've got two minutes left before my video amount runs out on this, so I'm gonna to have to dash through it, but they've also got, which I think is really brilliant, is gonna go back to the front page. They have got a mobile view, so you can actually see how your website is going to look on a mobile phone. This is really important at the moment, um, you know, with everybody going mobile, they say by the end of uh, 2014 uh, people will be connecting more to the internet via mobiles than they will via fixed hardline connections so it's really important that especially if your your business is around your website um, that you're thinking about that and you're thinking about how people will access that information on your um, on their mobile handsets so and there you go once you are ready to go all you need to do is just click to publish and it will ask you a few more questions that allows it to actually list your website in the uh, in their directories and it will also give you a bit of a hand in terms of um, search engine optimization um, and once you're ready to go um, then it will be up online and people can access it straight away so it's a brilliant well done Weebly I think you've done a really good job of the redesign there and um, I hope that that little guide um, has put your minds at rest if you're thinking oh maybe I should go for a website but I don't know it might be too complicated I think, as you can see, um, as long as you've planned out what you want to put in and you approach it with confidence, um, then really it doesn't have to be difficult at all. So enjoy that and um, join me at workingthecloud.biz for more news, reviews and commentary on what's going on on the world of the web for business.